This time on Early Years in Action, we look at personal, social and emotional development. Right, just to remind ourselves, Natalie is angry. She's got an angry picture. Hillcross Primary School in the London Borough of Merton believes strongly in a whole school approach to PSHE. Julie has got a lonely picture. My friend has taken my lunchbox and I don't have any lunch to eat. Go! They use the SEAL teaching resource, the social emotional aspects of learning, alongside PSED in the foundation stage profile. I think PSED should intertwine in every single subject, especially in the foundation stage. I think because it's not very explicit most of the time, it is, it, people find it hard to teach. Using the SEALS program, it gives you the lessons there and how to teach it. So it makes it easier, but it is to be used alongside what you're already doing. I'm feeling angry because someone stole my lunchbox. And is it good or bad to steal? Bad. In this film, we will see how learning about uncomfortable feelings is embedded in activities such as art and literacy, circle time sessions with a persona doll, hot seating with a visiting policeman, and observed role play. Yeah, Real events such as the 7th of July London bombings, which occurred just a week before we filmed, influenced the children's feelings and became an obvious topic to cover in PSED. The London bombings was a difficult topic. The reason why we had to explore it, and I say we had to explore it, was because children were asking the questions. If a teacher doesn't deal with it, the children won't feel safe to ask questions again when something else is bothering them. So we do have to deal with the problems there and then. A lot of you have been asking lots of questions about what happened last week in London. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And we're going to talk about our feelings. That's the most important thing, is talking about our feelings. So, we all know what happened last week. But unfortunately, Kira, who's come with us today, she was in London. And she came to speak to me because she was feeling very uncomfortable. In the circle time, we generally use a persona doll. And it's to help the children with feeling empathy for other people. And it's okay to say if they feel sad. It's okay to say if they feel happy. And it's okay to tell other people how we feel. Really scared and worried. Really scared and worried, okay. Uncomfortable. A lot of uncomfortable feelings, okay. Anxious. Anxious, that's a really good word to describe a feeling. Well done, Faith. Funny. A funny feeling. It's a, it's a, it's a difficult one to describe, isn't it? You would have felt a bit funny. Um, scared. And I also would have been very worried and very anxious and scared. Just like Kira's feeling all those things. But how can we turn those uncomfortable feelings into good feelings? I'm going to ask you to speak to your partner. Just for a few seconds, think about how we could make ourselves feel better. Um, if it's all over the place, you better run out of the place. Okay. Well, um, you'll be dead. I do think talking about frightening events is important because they will go through frightening events and they need to know that they will be frightened sometimes, but how can they make themselves feel better? Mm, I can give my mummy um, a hug. Okay. And when you're hugging mummy, would you talk to her? What would you tell her that you're feeling? Um, sad. Good girl. Um, Ella. Um, I would, um, um, Get my smile back. How would you get your smile back? Um, get my body straight and get it back. Oh, wow. So you'd straighten up your body, because sometimes when we're feeling sad, what would happen to your shoulders? They would go like this, wouldn't they? You show me one. And show me a happy body. That's it. So you get your smile back by sitting up straight and just making yourself feel good. So talking about your feelings and saying how you can feel better, that helps a lot. In PSED, in the foundation stage especially, activities should be taught through adult directed and child initiated and it is very important that you get a good balance of the two. In the role play activity, you can see how they take turns. They're negotiating whether who's going to be the nurse, who's going to be the doctor, who's going to be next. There's a lot of PSED within the role play, and it was very important that they did it themselves and that we don't intervene unless it's really necessary. I promise this doesn't hurt. I promise. See, that didn't hurt. I need this. I need to get help. No, I need to be there. I need this. I need this. Be there. 
Role play is central for the personal, social and emotional development of children because it allows them to explore their own feelings, their own identities and other people's feelings and identities in a safe and secure environment. I'm having a baby. Sorry. How much your baby's coming on? I've got that true coming out. What time is it coming on? Um, I think it's about at four o'clock. There was one child who's just experienced her mother having a baby, so she was enacting some of those uncomfortable feelings. I, there's something wrong with me. I, I might die, and I might die when you get the baby out of me, and I might not die. I'm going to take, I'm going to ask doctors, okay then. I need to use this for my doctor one. I think the blood's going to your bones. During the role play activities, when the child initiated, we tend to take a lot of observations. And I got from there so many different profile points that I could highlight to say that the children could do things, especially for PSED, with the turn taking, with the empathy, taking on people's different views. Today we've got a very special visitee. We've got Jason. Jason. Now Jason is here today to answer some questions. We're really getting you to ask him questions. So if you've got any questions you'd like to ask Jason today, then you can ask him those questions. Faith, what's your name? Faith. Faith, what's your question? Mm, why do you like doing your job? Because sometimes bad people do things. So what I do is I make sure all these bad people stay away and that's what I do. Bethany. Bethany, what's your question? Um, how do you catch people? Normally I have to chase after them. <laughs> they run away from me. I say, stop police, and they run away and I have to chase them. So that's, what, that's how we catch them. Olivia. Olivia. How do you help? How do I help people? Sometimes people may phone me and say they can't get into the house and I have to go and help them get into the house. Sometimes people phone me and say the cat's stuck in a tree and I have to go and get the cat. Sometimes people say they've lost the car. And I've even had people say they've lost the children and I have to go and help them find the children. So there's lots of different things that we do. The hot seat is something we do very often and it gives the children the opportunity to ask questions for a starter, which is one of the profile points we want them to be able to ask questions. It gives them the opportunity to find out more, to talk to somebody different. What we're going to do now is, would one of you like to pretend to be a policeman? Would you like to pretend to be Jason, maybe? And swapping it round the other way around gives the children the opportunity to be in the other seat, to answer questions, to think about what's being said and actually put themselves in the situation of the policeman or the fireman or whoever you want to role play. What do we call you then? Uh, I don't know. What would you like us to call you? PC Harry. PC Harry. PC Harry. PC Harry. Very good. Right. Let's see who's doing good sitting and then we can ask some questions. Right, so you're going to pick one then? Um, Ram. How do you help people? When, when, um, when some people have lost their children, um, go and help them. James. Um, how do you make people when they're sad? Uh, just sit down and talk with them. How do you rescue cats in the trees? Uh, climb up a tree and um, just carry them down. Mm, they scratch as well, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they always scratch. Why do you like to be a policeman? Because, because I get to drive bus cars. <laughs> Chase people. Chase people as well. Austin. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it might be a big round of applause. 
personal social and emotional development is not just during a circle time or hot seating. It is done during art, it's done during PE, it's done during literacy work, so it covers all the areas of learning. How did we all feel when Evie left school? Because Evie was our friend, wasn't she? And she's just gone off to New York to go to school. How did that make you feel, Thomas, when Evie left? Very sad. It made you feel sad when Evie left. So how can we make ourselves feel better about Evie? What can we do to make us feel close to Evie? Miriam. We can make a card. We can make a card or a letter, can't we? And what would we say, Ellie? To Evie, I miss you, love, Ellie. That's lovely, and I'm sure Evie would love to get that in the post. That would make Evie feel really, really happy. Uncomfortable feelings is generally taught throughout half term, so about six weeks. But within that, we make sure we are talking about the positive feelings as well, not just the uncomfortable feelings, because it is how to deal with them and how to make ourselves feel better. So it is positive as well as negative. There you go, there's some coloured pencils. Oh, brilliant writing. Like That's good, Thomas. You're using a finger space. Well done, Thomas. I'm doing finger You're doing finger spaces too. That's very I good. I am. Oh, what have you written, Ellie? Yeah. To Evie, I miss you, love Ellie. That's beautiful. That will make Evie feel very happy. That's going to have to go on an aeroplane all the way to New York. Mm -hmm. Jenny, what should I do the picture? Oh, you could do a picture under here if you like. And um, yeah. yeah. Thomas, what else would you like to write to Evie, sweetheart? Dear Evie. I hope you come back. Oh, Evie will love that, Thomas. I hope you. You. Do you remember how to write you? It's one of our keywords, I isn't hope. it? I've and you find it on mine. You have a. You. Look under why, Thomas. That is lovely. I wonder if Evie's house in New York looks that colourful. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do now is I want you to have a look in the mirror and pull a face, any sort of face. Are you feeling happy, are you feeling sad, anxious, lonely, excited? And I want you to paint your face on this paper plate. So what would your face look like? What shape would your mouth be? It'd be like... <gasps> How about excited? So you've got a really wide mouth and your eyebrows are all going up and your eyes get really wide. So as your faces change through your different expressions, don't they? I'm really glad that PSA is getting a lot of emphasis now. The foundation stage profile is ensuring that we really are nurturing these children's skills. They are lifelong skills and also you cannot teach effectively unless children have well-developed personal, social and emotional skills.